Arizona Attorney General Mark Burnovich. It's good to see you. It's so great to be here, Liz. Thank oh, you so much. wow, you're in New York. Okay, listen, we've got this story to cover with you. This spotlights the collapse at the border. 42-year-old Kansas mother, Allison Ekram. She was a Kansas mom. She's an ISIS leader. She was sentenced yesterday to 20 years in federal prison for leading a battalion of over 100 ISIS terrorist women in Syria. Okay. This is what the DOJ found. She was plotting with ISIS leader Mohammed al-Baghdadi in 2014 to smuggle terrorists across the U.S. southern border uh, to bomb a U.S. college in the Midwest by dropping off a knapsack there. Uh, also, she wanted to bomb shopping malls in the U.S. Uh, via by parking a vehicle in the parking garage or in the basement of a shopping mall and detonating the bombs in the vehicle via cell phone. So this was what's going is what's going on with the southern border. Yeah, we, you and I have talked about this before, is that border security is national security. And for so long, the Democrats and Joe Biden have ignored it. And the reality is we're seeing a historic number of people illegally entering the country, but we're also seeing histor historic numbers when it comes to the type of people coming in. So we know last year there was uh, nearly 100 people on the terror watch list apprehended. The last two years of the Trump administration, it was three total. So we're seeing this increase. And what Joe Biden is doing is America is less safe. And we know there are people radicalized in the Middle East that are being radicalized here that mean us harm. And so we need to do everything we can to scare our border because America okay. can get hurt. How does this happen a generation after 9-11? Why is this going on right now? I mean, to your point, new government numbers, right? They show uh, uh, 380 yeah. terrorist encounters yeah. at, the, at the U.S. ports of entry. That includes multiple encounters yeah. with possibly the same terrorists. To, to your point, that's more than double the year before. And... Look at those numbers. Look at those numbers. That is 380 possibilities of hundreds and or thousands of Americans dying. That is where we're at. The lady asked a question, why are we looking at these numbers in the wake of 9-11? I'll tell you why. Because never in the history of America had the left wing has so much control of the government. And it's pretty scary. We basically have 4 million people across the border. That's a country of people. And a good percent of those people mean us harm. I'm a person that I, I would die for my ideals. That's the type of person that I am. I can't help it. I don't have a case for violence, but I would definitely die for my ideals if I have to. So I can definitely put myself in the shoes of a young terrorist in Afghanistan that he breeds the destruction of America. When I went to jail, I realized how easily accessible the border was. And that was when I was 21, I'm 37. And even back then, those guys thought that it was a joke. And I'm not even talking about Mexican guys. I'm talking about Honduran guys that had a hustle, that they would sneak Dominicans over into the United States. From back then, I knew the border was a, was a threat because you can have criminals that just walk back in here, people that are not supposed to be here. I knew that back then. And the fact that the border is wide open I am almost convinced that there's people walking around right now that are gonna be blown into smithereens. And I hope I'm not one of them. But I do believe the clock is ticking. The numbers don't lie. Human incentives don't lie. And I hope that I'm wrong about this, but I don't see how I'm gonna be wrong about this. These people are not playing games. Our, en our enemies aren't, we're playing games, but our enemies aren't playing games. I would stay away from malls. I would stay away from crowded areas on holidays. Did you hear what the lady said? You, you heard what the terrorist said? Logistics don't matter. Because we can get in through Mexico, because the border is open. If that doesn't freak you out, you're either very brave or very foolish. F-O-E. I'm out.